Hello, Lisa sharing life stories with you. I have you guys on, uh, trying not to make my, where I work, shown so bad. It's my birthday today. I'm 57 years old. 57. Don't seem right. Don't seem right at all. I shouldn't be 57. It don't seem like. It really don't. It's weird. It's weird, weird, weird. But I wanted to come on here real quick. The couple people that did say happy birthday to me, thank you so much. And, it, and I wasn't expecting anybody to do anything anywhere. Because what do I really do for anybody's birthdays? But the lady that I work with that I'm good friends with here, she goes, this made me feel good. She didn't even have to give me anything, but just what she said made me feel good. She goes, you do so much for everybody. And it's time somebody does something for you. She goes, you try for everybody. And it's that alone, if some people notice that, that makes me feel wonderful. She gave me 25 bucks. I didn't expect it. Where she's working poor like me, and that was just fabulous of her. I didn't expect it. But for her to say that, I cried my eyes out. I called my husband. I was crying. I had a hang up with her. I was crying. I was crying. You hillbilly on nitros. My husband's at this yard. He works, does some work for this guy who owns a landscaping. <sighs> This, this hurts the hole, too. Owns a landscaping business, blah, 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 blah. He's trying to fix these trucks, some, like, minor things on them because they're going to go salt tonight because we're supposed to get one to three inches. Of course, i got to go to doctor's tomorrow. And I just cannot wait to see my doctor, but I want to get in there and out of there. And I'm going to say, oh, i got to take my... I'm going to do a little fib, but it's not bad. I'm going to say, i got to take my husband to the doctor so I can get in and out of there. Tomorrow's my day off. I don't want to be sitting in there forever. And why, too, I want to talk to my doctor. I've been waiting all month to talk to him about this diet medicine. I've been upset over it. And I want to ask him a couple questions that I didn't think of asking him when I seen him last month or presented themselves pretty much after the fact. After the fact of seeing him, like, I seen Sharon Osborne. Don't take it. Don't take it. She can't put on weight now. She's down to 90 pounds. Um, the lady that gave me this birthday money, she took a different formula of it. Same, supposed to be same thing. She was really sick from it. Now she's bad. So, I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to talk to him about it. I w my whole point is, I wish there was something, and I don't know if my insurance will cover it, a diet medicine that would stay in your system, you know, for like a day, and just a pill you take every day. Because when this ejectable, you put it in your stomach or your thigh, I'm worried that I'm going to be sick all week taking this stuff and nauseous. And, yeah, that's what I'm worried about. So we'll see. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what he says. I mean, I talked to him about that last month, but I didn't find out, like I said, till after the fact what peop she told me and Sharon Osborne. Oh, don't. She took Ozempic. She cannot gain weight, Sharon Osborne. So, and she stopped taking the stuff like months ago. So, I don't know. I don't know. She looks like a skeleton. So, we'll see. That's what Kim Kardashian took to fit in Marilyn Monroe's dress, but she seems to be all right. But hers, I think, was short-lived. I don't know. Maybe she's still taking it. I don't know. But I'm going to see. I'm going to see. I don't know. Wish me luck with that. I love you all. Come back after I have some more stuff to tell you guys. Lisa sharing life stories. I, I don't know if I showed you guys. I think I erased it. The frying pans that I have. Remember I told you guys, I think I told you, I left them all at my mother and father's house when I was moving from there. The fuckers who moved in wouldn't give them to me. After I gave them a whole freezer that wasn't in the deal, full of food. What a bunch of losers. They were losers. They'll get theirs. Especially it's that guy. He'll get his. Who does that to somebody? Won't give them their frying pans? Bag of shit. I'd like to see him on the streets. I'd be, I would probably be in the hospital, but this old lady be beating his ass. 
Oh, yeah. I would be a hillbilly on nitro then. I would turn into one real quick. That was just wrong. You don't do that to people. Asshole. He'll get his. Um, yeah, but anyways, so I was going to show you guys. I got an antique gray granite ware frying pan that my mom never used. She hung it from the in the basement steps going down as a, a decorative piece. But I use it every once in a while now. It's good if you go for a camping ground because it's got a real long handle. And I got another frying pan I did find in the garbage. It is a camper's frying pan. It's got a real long handle. But I'm not getting rid of those two. Who knows? I might end up living in my van and I'll be cooking over a freaking live fire. Seriously. So, I don't care. I'm not getting rid of those two. My husband, supposedly, all the stuff he ordered me is coming tomorrow. Um... A bowl, a enamelware bowl, a enamelware pot. It's like a pot and it has a lid. And then he ordered me a real beautiful frying pan. It was almost like 40 bucks. And Dr. Leonard's furniture polish. That's all supposed to be coming tomorrow. We'll see. That should be one, two, three, four things. And then he's going to order me another three items, two rugs. In a package of my razor blades. And I go, I'll leave you alone for a while. Since I found this selfie stick, now you don't have to buy me one of those. So that's all works out good. But I'll come back after. I'll have more stuff for you guys after. I love you all. Some maybe will help you guys after. Me coming on here talking about, I like to talk about certain subjects that may give people peace, you know? All right, I love you guys. I'll be back in a little while. Come back. Like and subscribe or I'll kick your asses. Give me over the 2,200 mark for my birthday. Let's go, YouTube. It's my birthday. Show me some love.